Hi Taurus and welcome back to my channel. My name's Renee and this is New Angel Tarot. It's been a while. This month is your month Taurus. Uh, May 2023 is on the way and we are definitely going to give you a monthly reading this month that is all about you. This is the first house. The sun is in Taurus um, and we've just experienced a major um, eclipse. It's called a hybrid eclipse. It was a combination of a bit of uh, April and May energy combined in that eclipse. But for some of you, this may have been uh, the beginning of the end. Um, doors closing, new chapters beginning. And that's the case with every new moon. However, this new moon was extra powerful. So if you were feeling um, the push, Now's the time. Now is the time to take the plunge into whatever you're deciding to do next, wherever you're deciding to go, especially when it comes to um, all the things that you love, Taurus, which is luxury, work, money, um, your health, health and wealth, um, basically. So I feel really strongly this month, Taurus, as well, if you're a Taurus rising, Taurus moon or Taurus sun, it doesn't really matter, or have Taurus anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. My name's Renee. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. The links are in the description about me. I run a school. Um, I'm a professional reader with the Tarot Guild of Australia, and I do um, exhi uh, exhibitions every weekend around Victoria and New South Wales. I am Australian, so if you're wondering what that weird accent is, that's where I'm from. Um, so yeah, moving forward, I'm going to be using this deck called the Angel Tarot. Um, it's by Travis McHenry and it does feature um, every single angel from the Shem operation. That's 72 angels and six archangels, uh, which make a total of 78 cards. So I hope you enjoy this reading, guys. Um, I'm going to be using a triangle, which is in the shape of Earth. Uh, okay, so the alchemical symbol for Earth, because you are an Earth sign and we are in Taurus season. All the readings will be in this formation. Um, I hope you enjoy my style. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and stay tuned to the end of the video and please hit that subscribe button. Okay, Taurus, let's get into it. May 2023. Angel spirits, guides, angel spirits, guides. What do my beautiful Taurus need to know for the month of May? Angel spirits, guides. What does Taurus energy need to know for the month of May? So at the top of the reading, we have the Hermit. Okay. Then we have the Eight of Wands. And then we have the Ace of Cups. We then have the Five of Wands. Then we have the Ten of Cups. Then we have the Four of Wands. We then have the King of Pentacles, the Magician, the King of Swords, and the Four of Swords. So as you can see, I have created this in a triangle um, consisting of ten cards. And these ten cards represent the number 10 in the Kabbalah, but also, um, you know, there are four worlds in Kabbalah as well. Um, I'm sort of not going to sort of digest how I'm going to read this, um, but generally speaking, I look at things holistically. I look at what's the top of your reading, what's in your, you know, foundation here. This is earth, this is air, this is water, this is fire. Okay, so that's my style. This is how we're going to do the reading today. I hope you enjoy it. The top of the reading here, we have the Hermit. I feel inspiration is coming to you this month in the form of uh, downloads from spirit, downloading um, your higher self, and this is godlike energy. This energy is ruled by the moon as well as Mercury. 
Okay, it's a combination of the zodiacal reference, which is the hermit, which is ruled by Mercury, which is Virgo, and then the moon in the ninth sephira, which is, you know, indicative of Yesod. So in this energy, the crowning position at the top of this triangle, which again is in the shape of also the alchem alchemical symbol of Earth, um, I'm feeling you're going to get a lot more done this month, Taurus, if you just stay home, focus on yourself, do some inner work, really dig in here. I mean, you know, life's a garden, dig it. <laughs> <laughs> That's an earth joke from Joe Jett. I have to throw that in. I know I'm a bit uh, quirky. But I really feel strongly here that there's a beautiful energy coming through of you being grounded within yourself. Okay, so this is at the top of the tree, which I feel is amazing. The angel is um, Ayabamiya. Ayabamiya. It's called Word of God Creating All. And the meaning at the bottom of the card is alchemy and transformation, rules, natural events, helps with spiritual progress. So again, you know, this is about downloading those messages and being, um, you know, quiet in a space where you can feel essentially your own God, your own sense of self, your own download, your own um, feeling of um intuitive messaging messages that come through to you in a way that can ground you to get you where you need to go which is in the um, in the final you know row at the bottom here because anything in terms of Jewish mysticism doesn't work from the ground up it works from the top to the bottom okay so this is where we're starting the hermit in the next row which is essentially a water uh, a world of water, we have the Eight of Wands, which is Sagittarian energy, and we also have the Ace of Cups, so new beginnings. New beginnings, especially with the Eight of Wands, um, Eight of Wands for me is definitely about um, movement, but it's also movement in a way that's unobstructed. It's a beautiful way to get a lot done quickly as well. You know, there's a there's a saying in the Rider Waite version, there's only 24 hours in a day, but the fact of the matter is you also have the eight Ace of Cups here. So while you're grounding yourself here in hermit energy at the pinnacle of your reading, this is also a beautiful energy where you will be, you know, on a new quest, the quest for the Holy Grail, the Ace of Cups. Um, and doing that, this is going to be a very swift month for you. I feel that this month is not only going to have, you know, an energy of green lights all the way, you know, it's like you're driving the car and, you know, you, there's green lights every every intersection. There are no blocks. There are no um, obstructions. This is all going in your way. Okay, so whatever creative passions you have, love interests you have, this is a time to go for it. Okay, um, the two angels on these cards are beautiful as well. I'm going to read them out to you. Angel uh, Eight of Wands is Vehuel, the great and exalted God. Grandeur makes one passionate toward God. So this is also doing the best work you can in the best possible way toward the light. Okay, this is a gorgeous image as well. I actually play a little bit of violin, so this is quite fun. Um, I love Sagittarian energy because Sagittarian energy as well is about beliefs. It's about your belief system, um, your philosophy about the world, the universe around us. It's ruled by Jupiter. So it's always about expansion of the mind, expansion of the soul, expansion of ideas, expansion of everything it touches. So Sagittarian energy is very, um, again, fiery, but it's also um, a lot of fun to be around. You know, you get a Sagittarian on a good day, it's a lot of fun. But, you know, they can be also very um, philosophical, quite serious, but, you know, at the same time, um, they're, they're coming from a really good place. They're coming from a place of um, support, care, passion, um, and belief. Okay, and being that it's next to the Ace of Cups, again, this is about a new beginning. Your cup is now running over. Your cup is in a in a place where you can you can draw from that water. It's almost like a, a new beginning, a new spiritual path that you're carving here. 
The next row, we have three cards. We have the five of wands, the 10 of cups, and the four of wands. So wand energy either side, but a beautiful cup energy in the center. Okay. Um, I feel really strongly here. This is in the in the realm of um, Yetzira, which is air uh, air energy. So this is about your mental sort of state this month. This is an energy of, you know, how you're communicating. What is that you're connecting with on the astral level, on the angel angelic realm? Yetzira is the angelic realm, but the five of wands, the ten of cups, and the four of wands. It feels like within the angelic world here, you've got. Um, you know, competition either side of you. It's sort of very Leo energy. There's a maybe a bit of ego happening around you this month, but in the center, all you're really wanting for the for the group is um, harmony because we have that ten of cups right in the center of the reading, which is really beautiful. Um, this one's called Hayel, God Master of the Universe. It's um, the Divine Warrior confronts, uh, confounds the wicked, brings victory and peace. So. You know, you may have also been confronted with some energies um, recently, Taurus, that are not quite right. Um, they could be people, they could be places, they could be, um, you know, things that have happened to you that you just feel, you know, why is this happening to me at this point? Why is this? Why is this person speaking to me right now? Why is this person getting in my way? Okay, and the reason why I say that as well is because you've got the five of wands to the left of you, um, which is God listening in concealment. Um, politics and ambition wins judgments and protects all those who seek the truth. And then the other side, you have that four of wands, which is Mahasiya, um, and that's rectification, helps with one live in peace with everyone. Um so four of wands is also about perfected work. This is Venus in Aries. And then we have the five of wands, um, which is Leo energy. Okay. So this is um, a combination of, look, there's a lot going on this month in terms of community, perhaps fire energy. Um, you'll, you may feel like between the rock and a hard place, but in that center of that reading, as I said, we have Hayel, which is the 10 of cups, um, God, master of the universe, divine warrior, confounds the wicked, brings victory and peace. So I feel as well, if you are wanting to confront someone, an issue or um, any kind of test, um, you know, because people can test you from time to time. They want to see who you are, how you do things, what that looks like. And um, I feel here that you're going to be in a really strong position because you've got that 10 of cups at the heart of your reading. On the ground level here, which is earth plane, uh, this is um, Malkut, and we have the four cards at the bottom. So four is always, for me, uh, about stability, and the king of pentacles, the magician, the king of swords, and the four of swords. Wow, this is huge. So we've got a, a major court card, two, uh, major two major court cards, a major arcana, and the four of swords. Okay, so the four of swords is kind of like an outcome um card because it's I, I'm reading from left to right here so I'm also feeling like this four of swords is you know um, an outcome card but let's get started on the bottom layer the king of pentacles is about um, setting yourself up for long-term financial security financial success looking at um, your money looking at your business um, and also perhaps studying something here that involves um, health or or something here that also involves dealing with um, someone in a position of power, like a CEO or something of that nature. So if you are having to deal with someone like that this month, um, you're going to be using your powers of the magician. And that's about your will and concentration. Whatever you're concentrating on, whatever you draw your attention to, that's where your energy is going to flow. That is where you are going to get results. It's the law of attraction. It's using all the tools that you have on the table in front of you to make your dreams become a reality. And this is really powerful because it is mercurial energy. And as we know, this month, um, Mercury is in retrograde. So if you are sitting with someone in a position of power or working towards um, setting up a business here that is very, um, you know, you're wanting long-term dividends from, it's a case of using all the tools in your box and not worrying about the things that perhaps, you know, don't run on time or, you know, fail in terms of technology. It's a matter of breathing and working through it, stopping, reviewing, restoring, and moving on. 
okay, because a Mercury retrograde can set us back, but also it's a time for us to also reflect. Okay, so when we think of the word retro, it's about, um, you know, it has the words RE in front of it. So anything RE is always reflective, remembrance, reviewing, restoring, um, you know, and perhaps even redundant. Okay, so this could indicate as well this final energy here, which is that four of swords energy. It's redundant energy. It's time to leave something in the past. The King of Swords is next. So the King of Swords, um, all kings for me are about decision making. Um, I feel really strongly here. This guy is mastermind. This is about a big decision um, because air is of the mind and air is also, um, you know, how we progress. It's how we make decisions. It's the choices we make and we make choices with our mind as well as our heart. But this decision here is definitely head over heart. But this for me as well is also a very big decision, okay, because it's a king. It's not a lighthearted decision. This is a major call, okay. So as I said, coming out of that, um, you know, eclipse energy we've just had, this is a door closing and another one opening. So you may have made a, a call here or you are about to make a decision this month that is big, you know, it's a big deal. The final card in this spread is the Four of Swords. So for me, always rest and re um, restore, relaxation, uh, mental health, recovery, taking time out, remembering time's gone as well, uh, you know, restoring from, um, you know, a lost love, restoring from uh, a heartbreak, restoring from something here which was previously uh, quite painful, which the card prior to this is the Three of Swords. But when we're looking also at the Rider weight, we're looking at a man lying down who's looking up at a lead light window, and that lead light window is the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups is an energy of nostalgia. It's remembering times gone by, but also could be lost love, you know, or people we've lost. Um, so if you have lost anyone, you know, this is also a time of reflection and restoration. The Four Angels on the um, the bottom row of this reading, I'm going to read them out to you because I feel <coughs> it will also help you understand a bit more of the energy of the card. So starting out, um, we had the King of Pentacles and this is Le Aya, the adored God. This is about obedience, causes harmony and peace and calms anger in anyone. Okay. Um, and that Aries eclipse, um, is very warlike as well, you know. So as I said, this was a time to sort of pull back, stay calm, especially with that Mercury retrograde coming in, um, to prepare, you know. This angel here, he almost looks like he's um, put his shield down. He's not at war, he's at peace. And the King of Pentacles is also a very stoic um, figure in the in the right of weight. This person's very um, – doesn't say a lot – um, but is very, very solid. You know, this person you can rely on, this person you can go to and discuss, um, you know, top tier um, conversations with, anything to do with business, anything to do with money. Um, so this is a very sort of open door policy card. You know, this is a this is a man here or a person that you know you can trust and also someone here who's to, you know, keep the peace. You know, he doesn't want a war. He doesn't want um, any drama. So this is also going to help ground you this month. As I said, the next one is the magician. So this is uh, Nitaia, which is the generous god. Spiritual wisdom and magic helps one gain wisdom and discover hidden secrets. So again, you know, the magician is mercurial energy. We are in Mercury retrograde. But however, if you concentrate on what you want, you concentrate on what needs to be done, your energy will flow in the right direction and you will receive what you are wanting to achieve. So that's the magician energy here. Um, which is really beautiful. Now, that King of Swords energy I just spoke about with making a big decision and using your mind over, you know, um, head over heart um, on a big decision level, it's also a victory because this card is Leia and this is victory, grants victory from protection from lightning. So if lightning does strike, this is also a case of providence. This is protection from natural disaster. Um, so if, you know, something does fall over in the month of May, uh, when it comes to this mercurial energy on the, on your heels, you have providence, which is really beautiful. 
And then, as I said before, that final card is Hayel, which is the Four of Swords, Mission, protects against slander or impious people as the final card. So if there has been some, you know, for want of a better word, slander or anything negative said about you in that Three of Swords energy, which is the card before this, that has caused you pain, that has caused you heartbreak or um, any kind of sorrow, this is an energy of protection once again. And it's an an energy of, um, you know, mission. You know, you've got a, you're you're sitting on a lion here, which is an amazing, powerful energy. It's an hour of and it's it's, a, it's an energy of protection. All lions protect. Um, they're very protective of their family, their friends, uh, their environment, their wealth, anything to do with power. So, again, this is also in a in a sense, this is a card of providence as well. It's really interesting. Now, I know I've been away for sort of a while. Um, I haven't done a lot of public readings for a while. So you may have missed this. And I'm going to use a couple of cards from this beautiful deck here, um, which I unboxed um, last month. And I'm going to pull a card from it for you. This beautiful deck is called the Enchanted Tarot. And as you can see, the cards are really long. So I'm also going to just pull you an energy here from this deck and see what comes out. Okay, you have the Ten of Swords. So in this instance, uh, Taurus, I feel, um, again, with that sword energy and having to come out of this um, protection mode, you know, and also victory mode, you know, providence mode, it's almost like, yeah, you've you've got hired help, um, <laughs> which is what angel energy is, um, surrounding you which is amazing. Um, and the Ten of Swords is is always an ending. This is the darkest hour before the dawn. This is an energy of um, higher consciousness before you've actually, when you've experienced everything you can possibly experience in terms of your life force energy, kundalini, um, and moving out of, um, you know, a toxic environment or toxic, you know, conversations. This is a beautiful uh, time for you to restore again and move into that ace of swords energy which is about a new beginning an ace of swords is excalibur truth integrity um and victory so that is your enchanted tarot card which um again if you are interested in this deck go check out my previous videos um I use these decks, this deck, um to do an overall for last month oh and I actually forgot to look at the bottom of the deck of the angel deck. Let's have a look here. Five of Pentacles is on the bottom of the deck. Um, this is material um, struggle a little bit, but the Five of Pentacles can indicate um, weathering the storm. You know, there there's obviously um, stuff that's coming through for you this month, Taurus, that is going to be a little rocky, but this angel, um, Akiya, is the forbearing God. It says patience, reveals secrets of nature, spreads knowledge and industry. Okay, so even though you may have had a shortfall this month in terms of anything financial or Mars energy, because fives are all about always Mars energy. Um, they're the sort of, you know, testing. It's, it's, a, it's, very, it's a very testing energy. It's pushing our buttons to sort of, you know, withhold from biting back or withhold um, it's like holding your ground, you know, in the in the eye of the storm, not um, retaliating and also not giving up. It's about pushing through. Um, and I feel really strongly you are protected here. There's this beautiful uh, providence on the um, foundation of your reading. And also uh, this five of pentacles here is an energy of just have patience, all will be revealed. Um and this is about spreading the good word, about your tenacity, about your ability to keep on keeping on and be able to weather the storm. So Taurus, I hope you enjoyed your reading for the month of May using the Angel Tarot um, and the Enchanted Tarot and um, New Angel Tarot, which is me. Uh, my name's Renee. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. 
put, give the video a thumbs up. And if you'd like a personal reading and you want to expand on any of these messages that may have resonated with you today, don't forget to check out my website, newangeltarot.com. You can book a reading and you can also learn tarot from me as well. I have a secondary website, New Angel Tarot Academy. This is where you can learn all things tarot, including decans, including the right of weight system, and much, much more. So until next month, thank you again for your support. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful month, and I'll see you next time.